Yo! <laughs> Howdy doody! Oh, welcome to my channel! Welcome to my channel! Channel! <laughs> Hi guys, I've just got in. I just dropped off my dog at the vet. So I'm a little bit out of sorts this morning. So I've made myself an iced coffee. I did it last night. If you haven't seen me before, I'm Kerry. And it's very real here, guys, if you ain't been here before. All my subscribers, welcome. Thanks for your support. And anyone who likes my videos, it just helps me move around, okay? That's why I keep asking. Because then you will help me reach other people. That's all it's for, okay? Just get you moving. Because all I can do is produce videos and share my gift. And then it's up to you to like my video so you can share my video with other people. So when you like it, it just gets it moving around. Otherwise, it will get lost or stay a bit stagnant like the X. <laughs> so good morning. It's Monday morning. Tra -la 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 -la. <laughs> right. So I am guided by your angels and mine. And then I give you a read, but put it where it fits, okay? Because I tell you a story, but it could be anyone's story and just take bits out of it and, um, yeah, just make it your own and just don't make it fit. All right? I know you get told this by other readers, but if you feel sick or you feel agitated or a bit peed off with me, then the reading's not for you. But don't go for good. Pop back another time and then... Um, you'll know it's for you. But this message might not just be for you, it might be for somebody you know. Because um, I've had that happen a couple of times on there. So if you're watching and you hear names and you think, I don't know them names, then ask your family members or friends because sometimes it's an angel that's come in for someone who doesn't watch um, YouTube. So just take it where it fits, like I said. I'm not with it today. I'll be good doing the cards, but um, if I'm a bit repeat myself, just ignore me because I've got Gypsy on my mind quite heavily because it's a bigger operation than I thought it was. The woman that I saw, she made out they were just taking a lump off and it's not. They're taking a whole nipple off. So they're going into a chest cavity and I was a bit surprised this morning and I had to sign a thing in case anything happens to her. And uh, I've had Gypsy like for years. And she's my support dog and I take her everywhere and she stops my anxiety. She's been through every situation with me. She's been to work with me. Oh, she's seen sides to me. Nobody has. No, <laughs> seriously. And I'm so worried about her. But thank you for your donations because it, it is going towards the vet bill. Obviously, I don't get your donations till the 23rd or the 24th. But my son's going to lend me half the money. Then I take it out of your money and then I pay it back. I wouldn't lie to you. So all your donations have gone to gypsy surgery. That's why I've got food bank this month. I'm going to have to have food bank next month as well because I'm not rich. I know people think I am. I have got a beautiful home and I have because I worked all my life. And um, everything I've got, I collected and I don't throw a lot of things away. Like not like stuff I like. And I've got a lot of pieces. But everything in it, even to do with my chairs, are free, donated, they come out the skip like these. I found them. Like everything in here is donated or free or charity shop. So, and thank you to people that tell me I've got a nice home. So I do appreciate, and I do appreciate my home, and I do. I'm on a council estate, but when you shut your door, you could be anywhere, couldn't you? So, I don't know what to do today. I don't have to do it karmic here. I know you like the karmic reads, but I don't want to keep you stuck. So, karma's on his own, and he's not going to like it. It's all right, darling. She's at the hospital, darling. Oh, he's doing roly-polies. He's never been without Gypsy since I've had him. But he uh, was looking for her when I came in. It'll be all right. If you ain't been here before, I've got two dogs. I've got Gypsy, my little staff, who's in the vets now. I've had her, like, forever since a puppy. She's my only puppy I've ever had as well. And I've done a really good job with her. And we've got Kami Wami here, my XL bully, who's the size of a Shetland pony. He's doing roly-polies. So grab your tea, grab your coffee, grab your dog, grab your cat, your neighbour's cat. 
<laughs> your mum, your brother, your sister. Sorry, but sometimes I do have a cigarette, so I've just walked from the vet. Just have a fag with me, but we'll get there. I'm just being guided. What to say. Hello, darling. Do you want to say good morning? Do you want to say good morning? Say good morning. Say hi. <laughs> All right, you're going to be good. You're going to be good. Yes, you are going to be good. Say good morning. Hey, hi. Karma, why me? This is Karma. If you hear me say Karma and you think, oh, look at this beautiful white, look. Karma, you're hiding your face off the camera. Show them your beautiful face. Show them your eyes. Look, Karma. Look at that face. We love you. Right, you're going to get down then. You're going to get down then. <laughs> I know, you'd get on my lap if you can. He thinks he's the size of a chihuahua, don't you? Hmm. Right, guys, I know a lot of you don't like this bit, but I've got to chill out with you because I like it. Right, what should we start with? I'm not going to do no white ones. I'm just going to do some of these. My pink and blues for you. And yeah, I do sing. You're making a big change, and that's a really big deal. Well, here we go to you. That's a really big deal. So let's see, we'll start with that. So you're making a big change. So it might be a really big deal to you. It could be a really big deal to someone else. Oh, boo <laughs> It is karmic here, guys. Right. You want my love? I love you. You've been out. He's been out this morning. I took him out before I took um, Gypsy. Oh, my cards are mixed up. I should have done them last night. This annoys me so much. I'm a Virgo and I like things the right way. But on here, I'm never organised. Because I'm so organised in my own life. Right, you're living a carefree life. Ooh, ooh. Oh, brilliant. So you're making a big change, which I think the change is you're free. Lovely. You could be living in care. You could be a carer, I'm getting. You could be like a care worker. Or you could have someone who lives in your home who you care for. That might be a big change that you're going through. You might be getting someone to live in your house or you move away to do a job to care for people which might make you feel a lot more freer. That's not energy, that's my coffee. <laughs> so anyway, it's going to be a really big deal. This change is going to be a really big deal. Excuse the nails, because I haven't had time to get them done. I will do them later, but I've had two more important things to worry about. So, I know it looks gammy, but I am not gammy. <laughs> I'm quite clean. I hate it because you can't see the cards. Right, so you need to sleep. So you might be having broken sleep or you might be having lack of sleep. You might be having lack of sleep because of this change. You might be going through the change, ladies. You might be. I just got that. If you're a lady and you're like of a certain age, you might be going through a change. So you might not be getting sleep or you might be waking up every now and again. Maybe that might be a big deal for you. Maybe your sleep patterns change. Maybe you're working nights. I think you're making a change and you're really thinking about it. And this is a big deal for you. You could be changing residence, changing whatever, darlings. Or I just do by what I'm guided, okay? So I try and spread as many messages as I can. So this is causing you to have no sleep. You might not be feeling like, you know, when you've been uncomfortable your whole life and you've been with a narcissist, right? Just, this is just a, like scenario this is what happened to me and then all of a sudden you're free and you don't have to do as you're told you can be what you want do what you want eat when you want like it's sometimes it's um a big deal and it is this might resonate with one of you and um you think well i'm allowed to do it's like being a teenager on your own isn't it i'm allowed to do what i want and that might be a big deal for you it might be a big deal that you you've changed so much now that you can do what you like and, um, yeah, it might be, you might be getting broken sleep where you're not with someone, like a partner. Listen, don't worry about it. More room in the bed, love. <laughs> right, so you walked away from something that you loved. So it could be something or someone. And you was, this hurt you. So you might be getting lack of sleep over this. You might be going through your emotions on what's happened in your life, what's happened in the past. It is a big deal, and it is. And it's a big change, especially if you like have plans with someone to move on. You might be moving on without someone. And living a free life might be like nice, but not what you wanted. So let's see. We'll leave them ones there. So someone needs to get some sleep. 
So whatever this is, this is a big deal for you or someone else. So angels and ancestors, I'm going to ask you a question. Let me get these ones out. Right, so who is this big deal about? Is this about the karmic or someone else? Or is this for the collective? Let's have a look and see who this is for. So is this about work? Is this about a relationship? Angels, guide me. This is about a father. So this could be about a father figure of yours. So this could be a father that's feeling like this. Or it could be your father, or you could be the father, all right? So, you might have held on to somebody, I'm feeling, for quite a long time. Maybe you did, and you were waiting for this person to come back, I'm feeling. Angels, guide me. You had to walk away from this father figure. Or this father figure had to walk away from you, or did walk away from you, because they wanted to live a carefree life. Not giving the care in the world. I wanted to say not giving a shit. And you could have had a lot of broken sleep over this. Over this father figure. This father figure might have given you sleep deprivation. Might have kept you awake on purpose. Might have worried you on purpose as well. So you did lose sleep, I'm feeling. And this person, this father figure, might have taken away your freedom. All this could be happening to them now. This is about a father figure. So you walked away from this person, this male, even though you were still hurting over this person. So I'm feeling you found it hard. I'm thinking this is you. And this was a big deal. And it was. Thank you, angels. I think this is you. But put it where it fits, all right? Whoa, we've got some cards dropped there, guys. A Libra. So you could be a Libra or we're talking about a Libra male, right? So you had to give yourself up to God, all right? So you might have needed saving from this person. God saved you. So you could have got a lot of um, like broken night's sleep, very upset, crying, feeling insecure, I'm feeling. And um, when this person you walked away from them or they walked away from you. This was a really big change in your life. This could have been such a big deal for you that it changed your life completely. And this time, like I said, I do repeat myself. So this person could have hurt you quite badly. You might be getting thoughts of this coming back. Now, I'm not sure still if this is about this father figure or this is their feelings. Angels, guide me, please, so we know a little bit more. I'm glad we're getting different cards out, but the energy doesn't change very much because these people don't, because they're stuck. So, father figure. So let's have a look and see what we got. Oh, I'm going to halve these guys. So you're in a safe place now. You feel safe. My hands itching, so you could be coming into money, all right? I think you're thinking about stuff. You're thinking about what's happened. You are in a safe place, but I feel now it's a bit... Um, I think you still hurt over this, and I do. I feel you do. This is a little big man we're talking about here. This is someone who thinks they're very big and mighty and a bit of a boss and uh, might be a bit controlling. And this might be a little man who's got little dog syndrome, you know, like a little Jack Russell. <laughs> Thinks they can fight the world because they're the size of a peanut. <laughs> Knee eye to a grasshopper. So this is... <laughs> Sorry, you got to laugh through this, guys, as you go mental. Right, so this is a big deal to this person, all right? But a small deal to you. Thank you, angels. Right, we got it. Hold your my angels are good. They will guide me. So this isn't about you. If it is, put it where it fits, all right? But this is someone, this is a big deal to little man. Little man. Right, so someone's having emotional outbursts about this. So they might be flipping their shit. And um, they're acting out. Now, this person could be acting like a fool or could have acted like a fool. This person's done something and they know that they've been really stupid making this decision. And now... 
oh, I think this is getting very big for this person. It's blowing up in this person's face about you walking away from them or they walked away from you and left you very hurt. They went off and lived a carefree life. And um, it's a very, I think, it, well, it says it's a small deal for you, but this is a puffed up little idiot who's having an outburst. So this person doesn't like it now because you're living a carefree life. And you're taking care of yourself, I just heard. So you're taking care of yourself and this person doesn't like it. Now, this person's losing sleep. So they could not be in a safe place or they might be somewhere where they think it's safe because it makes them feel safe, as in, like, protects them. So they might be somewhere where it's a bit of a safety net, I'm feeling. And this person's... Um, I think this person's thinking about you and they're in another place. And they're up at night and now they're hurting because something's happened that's changed you, but also now it's changing this person. So this could be a Libra, like I said, or a Pisces. So this is a small deal to you now. So it might have been a big deal, like a big deal to you. I wouldn't say Del. Your name might be Del. You might have a surname Del or you might be called Del as a man. So I wouldn't say Del. And a train's going past. So you might be like quite gone on your journey from this person for quite a while or you might be on your way don't normally hear trains here there is a train station but you normally only hear them at night so you might be like sort of journeying on you might have gone quite away from this person i feel so that's why it's not a very big deal but probably because it's not a big deal to you thank you angels this person feels it is a big deal because you're not making it a big deal right so this person is acting out and they might be acting like an idiot and this person might go around exploiting people, likes to talk about people, don't get in their own way, so they have little outbursts. But this person's a little actor. This person's been acting the fool. I think people are realising that this person is a fool and just acts pathetic, to be honest with you. Right, so they exploit children, this person. So this could be your father that exploited you or you could be the child as in you're younger than this bloke, all right? You'll come up as a child, you will. So this person, this father figure, is on drugs. So they drink as well. Now, this father figure, 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 why did I say figure? This father figure tells a lot of stories. Now, they might have sold your story, I'm getting. I don't know why I said sold. Sold your story or sold you out to someone for money. Now, this person could have been very verbally abusive to you or about you. This person could be abusive se actually as well could have been to you or towards other people or likes younger people male or female could be someone that's not very good with children they could exploit children as in their own children it doesn't have to be se actually they could just exploit them as in getting them to do stuff running drugs for them like just saying things that are verbally abusive to another parent put it where it fits okay this person could exploit people as in they pay youngsters to do stuff for, like I said, drugs or, I don't want to say excess, but it could be. This could be, um, this person exploits children, whether they're women or men, whether they're boys or girls, they don't care. They might have exploited their own children as well. They could have been exploited when they were younger and they think it's okay to do this. That's why they live in a fantasy world. But this person's very sexual and they're very abusive, okay? So you'll know who this is. But like I said, it can be a man or a woman. doesn't matter. It's where you fit this energy, masculine energy, all right? So, angels, guide me. Oh, this is good, isn't it? But we're only having a nose, all right, guys? We're only having a nose. Don't get stuck in this energy like I always tell you. Right, so this person is in pain. This is going to change this person forever, what they did. Because this person gave you pain and now they're feeling the pain that hurt you. Now, this changed you forever and it's going to change this person forever. This person is not going to ever forget about you. What they did to you will haunt this person forever, I'm getting. That's why this person's having outbursts because they know now what they've done and the pain they've caused you, now they're feeling and it's making them very emotional and they're flipping out. So this person could be acting stupid as in going around with younger people. They could be like going through a midlife crisis, I'm feeling. 
So this could be someone who's like a, a man who doesn't want to grow up, so they want to stay like a teenager. And they're not an adult, but they are an adult, but they don't act like an adult. Thank you, angels. Right, be careful letting this person, this person might want to come into your home. So this person is like a stray, goes with anybody. Might have been sleeping in an alleyway for all we know. But this person and puts it about a bit. They might watch a lot of that on the internet, I'm feeling, as well, to do with, um, can't say too much on it. So this person could have been seen as a fool. Now, this could be someone who's very bossy, or they like to be the boss, or they think they run things. Could be someone at work, could be someone you worked with, as in a relationship, you wasn't married. Um, you could be in a relationship, you could have been married to this person. This person runs their mouth too much. So they talk about people, have outbursts, talk about people, how they live their life and how people are making changes. But this little big man can't make a change to save his life. So they go around just thinking they're in safe places, getting ideas in their head, acting like the big man and then just telling people things that just send them the wrong way. I feel like this person likes walking away from people and leaving them hurt. Probably does keep him up at night, S-E-X-U-L. So this person's in pain now because of the pain they put you through. So this is a person who could get into a lot of fights and arguments. They could be getting into fights now. People could be arguing this person because they keep running their mouth. This person might run their mouth about how they walked away from you. So this is a big mouth. Little man, big mouth. Great, isn't it? Right, angels, guide me. So it could be work. could be a relationship, like I said. This person's very argumentative. I feel this person is arguing because they're in pain. Because of what they've done, they don't like their own medicine. Right, this person's in their ego. This person's in their ego. Right. Yeah. They they realise now that you was actually here to help them. So they were so in their ego when you did help this person that it sort of made them feel a bit puffed up and a bit better because I think when you loved this person, it got them in their ego. So they was like, um, you helped this person and they didn't accept your help. So they got in their ego that someone like you would actually love this person or like this person. But this person could have exploited you. I'm getting bad energy. So this person could have got, gone around saying, like, you wasn't beautiful, you wasn't kind, there's nothing loving about you. And everyone's telling this person, I feel people are getting in arguments with this person because people know you now. They know what a beautiful person you are. You've obviously been kind to other people. You might be kind to people in your community. And people realise how loving you are. Maybe you're a loving person. I'm seeing you, like, saying, good morning, like, how are you? And then asking people about themselves and about their day. Yeah, they thought that you wasn't even good enough to talk to at one point. So we could be dealing with a Gemini. So there's a Gemini that you're dealing with that thought that you wasn't even good enough to talk to at one time. And I feel this person now, the one person they want to talk to is you. But they haven't got you to talk to because this person talked too much with their big mouth, went around talking about you, probably got you into arguments as well, trying to antagonise you. I think this person tried to get you to run your mouth so they could get you involved in arguments and fights with them or other people. So this person now thought that you wasn't good enough to talk to, but the one person they want to talk to now is probably you. So this is a Gemini. Gemini, Libra. So this could be a Gemini father figure. So people do know how beautiful you are, and they do. They know you're loving. So this person could have been acting like an idiot, saying that you were sleeping around, I'm feeling. Like... Everything they were, they said was you, basically. Nice. Right. Right, so their needs needed to be met. And if you didn't meet their needs, then they would ignore you. 
And then this person, this is confirm what I've just said. So this person, thank you, angels. This is exactly what I've just said. My angels will confirm, all right? So this person find it, found it a big deal, right, when you didn't feel their needs. So basically, say if you had a job and you needed to go work and this person didn't want you to go work because you had to pamper this little man boy, they would feel like you've abandoned them. You're not giving them what they need. So they'll go off and abuse you. Tell all your stories to everyone and exploit you. Go around and act stupid like the little idiot that they are because this person might have ignored you out of the blue. You might not have even realised why this person was ignoring you. So this person then would get all puffed up have a tantrum, make a big deal out of a small deal and then start playing games with you mentally, which would get you into your emotions because they was in their ego. This person's off their nut. So they would basically play games with you. All of a sudden you'd hear from them or they'd be there. The next thing, they'd go off somewhere. You wouldn't hear from them. They'd ignore you. Start playing mind games. Make out it's a big deal. Get all puffed up and all annoyed. You wouldn't even know what's going on. And this, this person's very needy, very needy. They need their needs met now. And if you don't meet them, they meet their needs. They will ignore you, like cut you off like Edward bloody scissor hands and then go and lie about you, play games. And now they're having outbursts because they're game playing. People are realising this person's lied about you. And now you've ignored this person. This person's so needy, they'll probably blame you that this happened because of you. The situation there and now is because of you, because you didn't feel their needs. So this person was very needy in this relationship then. May have called fights and arguments over this when you didn't do what they wanted to do. So it's all about them. Right, let's do another one of these. Oh, we got a needy man. I'm the kiss. <laughs> Little boy man. Right, so this person could be in communal living. So they could be in prison, they could be in your community, they could live in a block of flats, all right? So communal living. So this person, right, who's in their ego, didn't realise that you came to the community or where they worked or wherever this communal place is, where you met this person in the communal aerial, 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 my name might be aerial, so this is from communal living. So you might have met this person in rehab, in prison, in like where you lived, in a block of flats, all right? Or this person might just like talking to the community, I'm feeling. But they thought you wasn't good enough to talk to. So when uh, you didn't do as they said or they were needy, then they're going to talk to the whole community. So these people could be in a cult. This could be a family in the communal living area, all right? This person could sleep with the whole community. Vulnerable people, people that are actually like younger. They might be in care of younger adults or children, I'm feeling, for some reason. I feel this person's a little bit strange and I ain't even lying. So this person likes to get about in the community, I feel. You're right, Karma. It's all right, darling. I know you lost with that gypsy. Come in, my love. I know you're lost with that gypsy. Don't mind, I'm worried as well. It's okay, you should be all right. If you're not used to being on your own, are you? We'll be all right. We'll be fine. Mummy's got you. Right, so you could have something to do with Native American. So that could be you. You could have a TP. So you could be Native American or the person you're dealing with. Or you could have ancestors watching over you. All right, you might have been from communal living in that kind of... Um, culture you might just just be american i'm getting oh orphan has just flown out and no, i didn't see that oh so someone could have left you like an orphan so this could be a father to you that left you like this maybe left you in communal living areas yeah or this could be a father figure that wanted to leave you like that out in the cold with nothing when this person should have done nothing but protected you so, like I said, it could be an older person. Now, you could have had to have lived outside, I'm getting. You might have been homeless for a little while and felt like you'd been orphaned. But I feel this person wanted to leave you out in the cold as you felt like an orphan. But put it where it fits, okay? So, this person's realising now, I'm feeling, that this father figure who acts like a boy is now feeling like they're an orphan because they're getting their childhood issues coming up. 
because of what they've done now is coming out. And now they're having emotional outbursts because now they feel like how they wanted you to feel, orphaned, out in the cold, sitting on the curb. I'm getting that this father figure's got feminine traits. Or wishes they was a little girl. I am really strongly on that. So this might be a father figure that actually acts like a child because they don't like the fact that women get attention. So they're bitchy towards other women because they feel like that when really they're they're supposed to be a grown-up man, but they feel really inside like a little girl. And now they feel like you've orphaned them. Well, let's see what else we've got, guys. We're on 30, 19. You could have been having a lot of battles with this person. This person could be battling their own childhood demons I'm getting now. They could have had a bad father figure that actually orphaned them. So they think it's okay to orphan other people and leave other people stranded, I'm feeling, on that. Any more of these, angels? Right, guys, have a good day. If you haven't liked, like my video, if you don't mind. It just gets me moving around. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and press that notification button so you don't miss any of my videos. Right, biblical. So... You could be very religious or you're building on your religion now. Or this father figure could be pretending that they are religious. You might have worked really hard with your religion. Or you might, be, like I said, you might be like building yourself um, a surroundings, like being more of a spiritual surroundings. So we've got biblical. So you could have a father figure that's pretending that they are a bit holier than thou. I'm getting on that as well. Right, let me just see if I have one more of these and then I'm going to leave it and then I'm going to come on and do you another read. Right, let's have a look. Right, ain't, whoa. So we got this person's bitter. Very bitter, really angry because they, what did I say? Always verifies what I said. This person feels now that you've rejected them. You've left them out in the cold now, but they was the ones who was dishonest. So work that out. So this person doesn't like it because you're very resilient now. You don't put up with this person's crap anymore and you don't. And one of your strongest qualities that you have, yeah, is actually being resilient and it is. That's what this person doesn't like. Now, this is what gets you through your trials. So this person putting you through trials and tribulations could have actually made you as strong as you are. You might not have realised how strong you were. So this person left you like that. Now they feel bitter and upset and angry. They're having an outburst because now they feel like because you said no to them or you didn't put up their crap anymore, now they feel rejected. But they was the ones that broke your heart and was dishonest to you. Entitled. So this person is having an outburst. Like a child, because they feel abandoned. It's bringing all their childhood issues up now. And they don't feel safe because they're thinking about stuff and probably getting all ideas in their head. And now they feel hurt just how you did. And now they know you're making big changes in life. And now it's a big deal for this person. But it didn't matter when this person was angry and bitter and rejecting you, being dishonest and talking about you to the whole community and uh, just acting like the fool that they are. And they didn't like the fact when uh, when your needs weren't being met. That was all right, though. What have I dropped on the floor? I, s I heard something drop. What was it? I swear I dropped a card then. Maybe. Yes, I did. What is it? Oh, finances. So someone has not got finances because this was reversed. So this person who you was dealing with is, oh, is angry now. That just fell up my hand when I was giving me a bit of the creeps. Right, so it was, it was upside down on the floor, but it's like someone just flicked it out of my hand and put it upright. So I said to you, my hand was itching, you could be getting finances. This person could have stopped your finances, tried to hide money from you, take money from you. Maybe they'd done this, what they'd done for finances. I think this person's lost finances or they're losing money really quickly. Sorry going over, guys, but let's have a look and see what else. So this is definitely a father figure. 
All right, angels, let me have a card for the collective. Have a nice day today, guys, all right? And um, please pray for my gypsy, because I'm going to be so worried. If I lose her, I don't know what I would do. She's my world. Right, just trust, okay? Trust in your faith. Trust. Trust your angels. Trust the universe. Trust God. Trust yourself, okay? And have faith that your angels are behind you, because you are strong. All right? Have faith that you are going to get finances, and you are. That could be part of your abundance. You could be getting abundance of finances, because somebody that you was with, you thought you trusted and you had faith in them and they just literally acted like an absolute idiot and a fool. But you're going to be all right, okay? Finances. And that came up upright after. Be strong, be resilient, carry on doing what you're doing. Someone just feels left out in the cold because that's exactly where they put you and they don't like it. Oh, boo-hoo! <laughs> right, sorry, but they get on my nose. Shall we do a comic slap, shall we? Karmic slap for the karmic. Right, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to love you loads. I'm going to drink the rest of my coffee. And thanks for coming to my channel, channel, channel. I love you guys. Have a good day. Namaste. What was that about?